What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, apologies for the wind noise in advance. It is a very beautiful sunny day today, but the wind noise has started to pick up. So apologies for any interruptions with that. But in this video, I just wanted to do a quick uh, high level overview of three important, I guess you can call them hidden flaws of the Audi B9 S4 and S5 platform. So as you guys may or may not have seen in my last video, I actually crossed over one full year of ownership with this car and it's been absolutely amazing. I go through in detail all the modifications and the maintenance costs and that, but in this video, I just created a list of three important, I guess you can call them uh, hidden flaws, like I said, that serve as a buyer's guide for those that are trying to look at this car and are interested in it and the platform, but want to know more about the uh, important details of long-term ownership. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get on started. So the first sort of issue, uh, if you will, or a hidden flaw of the Audi B9 S4 and S5 platform actually has to do with under the hood here in the engine. So if you go ahead and pop, pop the hood here, take a quick look. It actually has to do with the rocker arm designs. Now, I've heard that this only affects early build 2018 cars. Um, mine is a November 2017 build, so I guess uh, mine is sort of a mid-2018 model year, if you will. But the early build cars apparently have uh, very thin bearings in the rocker arms that I'm not sure if they exactly wear thin over time or whatever the case may be, but people are pretty concerned on the forums that it could cause severe engine damage. What I've heard, Audi supposedly revised the rocker arm design for the 2019 and newer model year cars. Um, but even then, I'm not even sure when the fix went into place because I've still seen some 2019 cars have the older design. Um, and like I was saying, there's no real hard and kind of solid data that shows that the old rocker arms uh, can and will be a, uh, defective at some point. I'll definitely keep you guys updated uh, as information on this sort of topic progresses. Uh, it's in its very early stages. I haven't seen really many people talking about it yet. Um, but if you do want to be safe, I'd say get a 2020 or, or you know newer model year car of this platform, maybe even the B9.5, um, just for that sort of peace of mind. But like I was saying, I've had no issues with mine um, and I'm not too concerned about it. So the number two sort of buyer's guide slash hidden flow, if you will, of the Audi B9 S4 and S5 actually brings us to the interior. And it has to do with the overall sort of interior build quality. Now you'll see threads and threads, and I'll actually go ahead and put up a screenshot here of people saying uh, or people complaining about kind of loose plastics and creaks and rattles from these cars, um, especially the early build ones uh, from, you know, 2017 and 18. Um, I will be perfectly honest with mine. I had definitely had quite a few creaks and rattles here and there but they've been very very sporadic um specifically from the driver's door panel hopefully you guys can hear this it's a bit of kind of a creak from the uh I, the soft padding uh if you will on the door panel now so i've had issues with the driver door panel and then actually in the rear as well uh this headliner has creaked and rattled as well uh when it's been very cold especially from that sort of rear uh sub and um i guess you could say speaker deck back there but now this issue doesn't really bother me a lot. You know, like I was saying, I've had uh, previous Audis in the past, my 2010 S4 and also my BMW 340i, the F30 generation. Those were definitely built like tanks. I had no creaks and rattles in those cars whatsoever, but it just seems like in these newer Audis, they, they had a bit of cost cutting here and there. But you know, if you're interested in these cars, it's not a really big concern. Just make sure when you check them out that, you know, you feel around in the interior, press on some of the panels just to make sure everything feels very very tight they did fix the problem i believe or really tighten things up in the 2019 and newer model year cars but it is just worth mentioning overall and the third and final uh, buyer's guide note slash hidden flaw of the audi b9 s4 and s5 actually has to do with the electronics in this car um, i've had a couple instances of the mmi screen actually rebooting itself and turning off um, as well as the hvac controls um, i'm not sure how common this issue is it is not really affecting me all that much but it's happened once or twice in my ownership And again, this issue doesn't really bother me. Um, it's really only been once or twice in a whole year of ownership that it's done these things. So I just chalk it up to being a new car with a lot of technology and, and things to, <laughs> that need to update or reboot. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick little video of the three buyer's guide notes slash quote unquote hidden flaws of the Audi B9 S4 and S5 platform. I definitely don't want to make it sound like I'm complaining about this car at all. I absolutely love it. It's got so much tech. It's so cool. Um, and I've loved owning this car for the past year. But like I said in the beginning, I figured I'd make this video uh, more for informational purposes um, for everyone to make their own decisions on this car if they're checking it out. But 
like I was saying, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please be sure to check out my other ones and subscribe and drop a like if you enjoyed. And I'll catch you in the next one.